Thank you. It's hard work being a superstar, I tell you. Dad and lad. The fan was a that was your camera. Yes, tick tick was the fan. All in a day's work, yeah. Enjoy. Yeah. Ciao. That's it. Which one's a superstar? Um, 80s. Motocross hero from the 80s. San Marino. Real hard part. What do you reckon our view this weekend? Pretty good. They like tucking us away at the, the real back corners of the MXGP paddock. <laughs> Sardo in Sardinia, not the one that you know that Italy kicks Sicily, not that one, one island up from there. So, nice little boat trip over, like an eight and a half hour boat trip from Livorno to Olbia, two hour drive down onto the west coast. Blue beaches. I hope you got some footage of the beach when you were there yesterday, just kind of merge that in. Blue uh, beaches. Um, How would you stay on the boat? good actually yeah 45 degrees we decided to stay in the in the van save a bit of cash didn't want to get a, a cabin upstairs it's gonna cost like an extra 150 euros so I thought we'd stay in the vans get a good kip it's like 45 degrees we were sweating bullets got about an hour and a half sleep but we're here ready for action it's over, all over again oh. There's drivers and there's screwdrivers. You've definitely used that one before. Have I? Next joke, please. What's he on there? That's that hammer I broke earlier on, putting the awning up. He's reshafting her. Look at the facial expression. <laughs> I wish you had the zoom lens. <laughs> This is the main job of today. Don't get the bikes ready or you know, make sure we're ready for racing. Get the hammer reshafted so it's good to go. Shaft's a bit tight. <laughs> <laughs> Can't beat it. <laughs> Big magazine guy, eh? You know, I'm just doing it for the sponsors. <laughs> just getting the coverage. Your dad's doing it for the sponsors. He's got his Axi water in there. Yeah, I know. Yours isn't. I thought it was an FXR gig, but apparently it's a small, small fish in a big pond gig. That's it. That's what it's all about. I can't even believe we can't even we can't even see nothing. We've got no crowd coming here. We can't even hear bites, but just just going to be mixing it with the factory boys. You ready for a day on the beach? Yeah. Got my bucket and spade at the ready. So we're just going to have some fun. Are you coming to film me getting ready? Oh mate, you're gonna hear that as well. Dropping this the kids is, off. This is part of getting ready ritual. First you've got to drop the kids off, and then we'll get our gear on. <laughs> and then? What? Go time. That's where I keep my ring. I've seen a few horror stories about people ripping their, their fingers off, so... Hey presto, don't lose your ring. Hey blue. Blue for practice, and then wait till you see what we've got. It's only two and a half months late, but it's arrived. DHL lost this before Lommel, thought it was gone, never to be seen again, but it's back. And what better conditions to be wearing white in. Woo. Look out for that in the races. Mum, what is it? Oh yeah, get, get this in. I could do with like a picture of me from the front with the goggles on, just looking all ready to race and then the sponsors. For bounty? No. <laughs> Get the kitchen rolling. Well, I tell you what, if Bounty did want to sponsor me, not just free kitchen rolls, I'd probably take my SS24 logo off and just plaster Bounty. You could even get the guys from the commercial and just make a wee a of it, you know? Is that one sheet? Yeah, one sheet. <laughs> That's, that was your joke, not even mine. Oh yes, we've got full, another full roll. The good we'll, stuff. We will be needing that for later. 
bit of origami just before we go out. Day at the beach. Best quality of the year. Six, P6. Come on, baby. Let's have a couple of top tens today. That would be lovely. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself now. Just put that back. The for forks, you wouldn't believe it. Those three clicks, it just started fucking. The front end was working nice. You take your mask off now, you got a bit of air in. Keep training, keep training. Toughens you right up. I'm going to get my bin bag on in a minute, my black bin bag. <laughs> bin liner. Bin liner, yeah. So that's the boxing training. Okay, there's, I can't, see, can't get in. But I'm sweating a lot. The race transporter. Sprinter van 50 50 conversion. We've got all sorts of miscellaneous stuff up here. We've got these are pretty special little packers, sponge covered in duct tape. I never have enough of them. Stops a bit of abrasion. We've got all sorts of tools, spares. Everything's all uh, labeled up so that my, my dad knows where he where he's put things and still loses stuff. Got all our uh, motor X, greases, chain lubes, oils. Got enough tire levers there to probably kick the whole paddock out. Then we've got some suspension there, water hose, more brake cleaner. Keep our Talon wheels up here. Michelin tires, we keep most of our tires stock in the trailer because we have to fit all our own tires at GPs and British Championships. Michelin doesn't do a tire service, but we're quite happy to fit our own tires, so that's cool. We've got brush up here for washing the van, brush up here for uh, doing start practice or brushing the van out. Nice little vice up here. Not very uh, good for working on stuff up there, but that's where Dad keeps it. Got sprockets on this side, all very nicely numbered. Got our SPS brake pads now. We do like to go through a set of SPS brake pads. I'm pretty hard on the rear brake, and SPS are good enough to give me about a set for every session out on track. Filters are in here, DT1 filters, another shock up there, HGS exhaust, HGS tailpipe, spare plastics from 2020, so hopefully we don't have to use those. Unless we're at Fox Hills and the seat falls off, then we have to use all that. Uh, what else we got? We've got some suspension tools up here. Dad's neatly told us how much uh, weight is in each box. Not sure why he's doing that. Um, we've got a table, compressor in here. We've got our fuel in here. We put our fuel in black bags just so that if uh, we get searched at the boat, they don't uh, tell us to tip our fuel out or leave it. Got all some spares in here. Dad's toolbox. There's probably enough tools in here to you know, sort of work on lorries and old tractors and things like that. <laughs> I've just been out of the wash bay and all the time I've been washing a bike with Seth. <laughs> you know, and he had the washer in his hand and I saw it just That's right what on. you're telling us. Looks like you've pushed yourself. Ah, good job, it's warm. Anyway, out. mechanic Willie Simpson. Simpson Army. So stickers from 2015. Yeah. I mean, this is a real toolbox. All these toolboxes that are just look too clean, you know. This is this is some proper stuff in here. Look, you just can't, you know, if you want to, at the end of the year, if you want to build yourself a new chain, you know, we've just got links and, you know, brake pads and... I don't know, does that fit on a KTM 450? I'm not sure. But, um... That's a lot of brake pad for you. Yeah, that's actually probably looks like brand new. I mean, who actually knows what this is for, but that has served a purpose. 
at one time. <laughs> that's that's actually done a job. Uh, what else? Yeah, that's mo we mostly use that on our KTM as well. That's definitely needed. Um, I mean, you know, there's just there's a bit of everything in here, really. Do you know what that is? It's a Renthal twin wall crossbar that's now been made into a punch of some sort. Yeah, I mean, this we is... We use the This is real, this real sort of like... Real man's toolbox. Real man's tools. Well, that's for that's for probably truing up an old crank or something on a Husqvarna, 84 Husqvarna or something. But yeah, anyway, that's pretty much what we do here. Umbrellas here, easy access. And that's the 20 SS24 rig. What do you know? Press white. I think you lost three. Yeah. Yeah. I think Van Donning was Van Donning in front of me. Uh, yeah. Two. Uh, yeah. Yeah, his bike broke on the last lap, so twelve. Oh, and Sia was run out of fuel as he crossed the finish line. No. Yeah, like, well, they've just pushed it back. They couldn't. Stand their tank. We're finishing motors on a KTM. OEM parts. <laughs> Girls wink. White and pink. Oh, we're just pulling out all the combos today. Holy shit, I'll take me two minutes to get my gloves on. Really good once you get them on.
rig up. Oh, <laughs> it's another one of Dad's specialities. Off the power washer at the front, look. Oh, well, he's some boy. Once again, like I always say, we do not mess about. Got my shampoo up there. Just to make sure I'm smelling fresh. Pink towel. Living the dream. Whew. Two twelfths? No. No? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot. First moto. Yeah, first moto Van Donning's bike expired in the last lap. And second moto Van. Um, Ferrato crashed. So, cheers, boys. Get me away from the unlucky 13. Here at 12, so that sounds better. Um, yeah, second moto was good actually, running seventh and then just five, I don't know, has it been five weeks we've been away from GP? So, away from that sand anyway. Yeah, we've just had other commitments, let's put it that way, and then uh, yeah, let's get back into it. Still got eight GPs to go, Nations next week. Motivated. It's a mechanics diet. What flavour? Ready salted. The That's best. Act the actually best. Seth's least favourite crisp in the world. Ready salted. So That's a lie. She's an onion. Oh, is it? Uh, what well, second? Second least favourite crisp in the world. So he must be hungry. But these boys, they have breakfast in the morning about 7:30, and then this is like the second meal of the day. So racing diet. Do you know how that feels? Third meal's a sweet. Well, listen, you're the one that left the booties at the front door this morning. Well, yeah. That's, that's your own main. fault. I made the butties. I didn't realise I was There was loads tapping. of shortbread in that jar. You've been rinsing it. Correct. That was full. Correct. What Rap are you saying roll. then? Wrap roll. 12-12. 12-12. You happy 11. with that? 11th overall. It. Yeah, that's good. I, I wanted a bit more. I'm pretty greedy, haven't I? I mean, 6 this morning in practice was good. First race didn't feel that great. I had to drop the forks through a bit for the second moto, just trying to get a bit more of a chopper angle on her. Felt a bit more confident in the second one. Just running seventh most of the moto. That wasn't me, by the way. Running seventh most of the moto, but just five weeks at home, British Championships, other commitments, we just probably weren't 100% ready for today. Unfortunately, fitness played a little bit of a factor, and. Uh, a little bit spent the last 10 minutes of that second one lost a few spots so on to next week nations a lot of motivation new helmets new gear new stickers a lot of uh, cool stuff coming so look out for the next vlog and a lot of racing still to go this year so motivated you're gonna do hand over the camera <laughs> i did do it properly <laughs> i fucked do it up it properly see you next week